I'm just gonna say it. We're a new generation of day trippers. We really are. This is a growing, I mean, it's a movement. We're part of a movement. Going to practice his guitar. <laughs> up we go. Right here, up here. There we go. <laughs> Abby's a day tripper too. What's a day tripper? Well, it, it's a song by the Beatles, for one thing. I know. <laughs> day yeah. oh. tripper. Yeah. Well, we're day trippers. If you're, if you have a rig, could be an RV, and even if you do it part time, you're a day tripper. We trip around during the day. Yes, we do. We and in do. the evening too. I know. So I want to. Um, describe two types of day trippers. Whoa! <laughs> well, one is uh, like they like to day trip in the city, and they're set up for that because, huh? We love day tripping in the city. We do. There's so much to do. There's I so know. many different things to shoot. We're sitting here right next to the zoo. We're just across from the park. We're yes. Yeah. We're waiting for uh, the new exhibit to open because we're members. Woo! Yes, we're day. We're gonna day trip at the zoo. There's a new um, uh, exhibit called Big Bugs. Big Bugs. I can hardly <laughs> wait to see them. I, I know. I think. Yeah, I, I think they're alive too. Oh, so, I bet. Yeah. yeah. So there's there are the day trippers who can hang out in cities because they're set up for that. Because when I park in the city, I can just be in my van and I don't have to set anything up so that I can like sleep at night because I don't have anything piled up on my bed. How about you? I heard someone say once uh, that they like to call that urban nestling. We nestle in the city. <laughs> yeah, we do. Because we kind of nestle in with all of the other um, locals, right? Yeah. 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 So I don't, when I pull into a city or a town, I can stay as long as I, as long as I want to. I can trip around the city all day long. I go here and go there. Go to, re what do we do? We go to restaurants and have breakfast. Yeah. Although yeah. we didn't today, did we? No. Why? It's a big disappointment. <laughs> and, well, we're both getting over these colds, yeah. yeah. His is almost gone and I'm, I'm still in the, what, the stage of like, I woke up and, yeah. <laughs> so, but I feel better now. Um, well, if we want to go to the laundry, the lawn, it, it, yeah. it's right down the street. And yeah, you it's know. not my favorite thing to do. No, but, but but we can day trip there. And we went and saw the movie. Oh, that was great. Oh, I know it. A man called Otto. Right. And then um, there's stores everywhere. We can go to the mall and walk around. Yeah. We can go see, see a museum. We can go out to out on the outskirts and see like Tucson. You can go see the um, Saguaro National Monument. You can go see, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Santa Fe Mission. Yeah, you can go anywhere you want to. Which we probably should go just go see it again. Yeah, it's a nice drive out there. Yeah. So, but let's talk about the type two, <laughs> type two of a day tripper. They have so much in their vans, and we're talking maybe smaller vans. They have so much that when they're traveling, they have to pile things on their bed frame, and for they enjoy boondocking, but I think they would enjoy the city life. But what they do is they find BLM land or someplace out of the city. They, they have their table set up with their stove, their chairs, things like that. And then what they do is, um, then they go into town and day trip in town. But they always have to go back because if they were gonna stay in the city. Um, they can't set all that stuff up. I know. They can't do it. So there's two different types. Um, and I'm not saying one is better than the other. I do have my choice. And I would not, to be care I would not like to be carrying so much stuff that I can't go to sleep at night. Yeah. You know, and I have to I have to set things up or get things out, or I know some um, of the people that I met friends. They have like this trailer in the back that they pull, or it's an extension, 
And sometimes it's just, what do they call that? Like, what did Mary have? She had like that thing. That it attaches a, to a hitch. Right, I mean. attached to a hitch. Yeah. And I mean, and then she had a lot of stuff because she had a smaller car. It wasn't even a, a minivan. Yeah, she really didn't spend much time in the city at all because it was almost impossible right. to go to bed at night. Yeah. So, um, but I, she would almost have to stay at rest stops, so here and there, right? Yeah, but there yeah. again, she can't set all that stuff up at right. a rest stop. Right. Um, of course, we, you know, at a park here, we could set a few things up, put some chairs sure. out and a yeah. table. Uh, of course, tables are provided, but... Um, at night, you you know, you have to... We can't have to spend pack all night. everything up. Yeah. Right, because in Tucson, you can't stay in the parks. Right. Yeah. Well, at least you're not supposed to. Right. I think every once in a while we see it, but I think they keep this cleaned out pretty good. They do. Yeah. yeah. Like in Reno, there was a couple of parks you could spend overnight in every night. And uh, it was cool. It was nice, but yeah. not in Tucson that I know of. I don't either. Yeah. So, you know, every city is going to be different. So I just wanted to explain the little difference between that. Um, urban nestling, we love it. And this is... If you are thinking about this lifestyle, which I'm just gonna say it, we're a new generation of day trippers. We really are. This is a growing, I mean, it's a movement. We're part of a movement because there are gonna be so many people that are gonna have to. And we're we're just, um, a lot of us are ahead of the game. And, and you we, know, yeah. You know what, Lee, a lot yeah. of people say, well, I want to be out in nature. I want to. I, I want to. I want you to do something for the folks. Yeah, I will. Right back there. Oh Look yeah. Look at what I'm looking at right here, sitting yes. in a parking lot in the city, day I tripping. Know. Hello. <laughs> but just show them what. Yes. Hold on and let me turn this around. I know we got saguaros everywhere. Anywhere we go in this park, anywhere where we're parked, we have nature, but especially at a park. Yeah. And we have our own special park. Sometimes we go out to Saguaro Nation Monument and hang out there for the day. We do. And we cook out there. So it doesn't matter. You can day trip during the day in a city and still get plenty of nature. Absolutely. Yes. I know it. It's a, it, like I said, it's a growing trend. It's a growing movement, you know? And if you want to be part of the movement, you're welcome to come out here. Now, I do have a book, How to Live in a Minivan, the Minivan Leeway. Mm -hmm. It's right there it's <laughs> on his excellent. chest. Excellent. It's on excellent. his chest. You're carrying my book. Um, it's on Amazon. So go look at it. I won't go on and on about it, but yeah. It'll teach you how to get going. And if you want to do it part-time, yeah. yeah. That works. Yeah. So let's get going to the zoo. I'm let's ready. Let's go see the big bugs, I okay? want to see some critters. Yes. Little critters. Well. <laughs> I know. Little big critters. I bet they have a tarantula in there, huh? Oh, I bet. I bet, yeah. Hope so. Okay. Well, let's get going. All right. You got your coffee? I didn't make any for you. I, <laughs> I, I goofed. I didn't make your coffee. But I do have mine. I hope you have yours. Oh, that's good stuff. So now, Steve, I believe it is, asked a question in a comment and said, you know, maybe Steve is up north and in the winter time, as you know, up north, it can be cloudy for days and even weeks on end. I used to live in Michigan, so I know how it can be. So Steve said, how do you get your power bank charged up when you don't have sunlight, for crying out loud? Well, there are a number of different ways you can do that. So let's talk about that a little bit. First of all, 
you know, big rigs and and uh, uh, Class A's or, you know, things of that nature, they usually have a complete solar system that has a panel of, or two or three or five, whatever, of course, and that those panels go in by cable into a inverter that then goes into, uh, it puts that power into batteries, uh, a set of batteries, depending on how much juice you use as you go through your daily life in one of those things, um, so that you can set up a little station where you can charge your phone or anything USB. You can charge it up and uh, run your lights inside your rig. Uh, what else? You can also do uh, uh, appliances if you have enough power available. Well, we're not talking about a full, complete system like that. I'm only going to mention going directly from a solar panel into a power bank. And how can you do that if it's cloudy? Well, first of all, there are UV rays, even if it's cloudy outside, UV rays do come through and they will do a little bit of charging for you. So, you know, you can try that and see how much you get. But you ought to remember, first of all, that a solar panel, if it's dirty, if it's uh, scratched in any way, it's not going to perform as well as you would like, no matter if the sun is shining. So make sure, first of all, that your panel is clean. I wouldn't recommend using any kind of uh, liquid on the panel. I would just dust it off the best you can with a soft cloth. And any scratches, of course, there's nothing you can do about that. So anyway, clean your panel and set it up at a 90 degree angle. Here's the sunlight. Can you see that? <laughs> Here's the sun. And it make sure it's at a 90 degree angle to the sun the sun itself and follow it around as the sun moves during the day you want to have that at that 90 degree angle so that you get as much juice out of that sunshine as you possibly can but we're talking about a cloudy day when you maybe you can't even see the sun up there well first and foremost you can take that panel anywhere you can find an AC outlet. That's the best way to do it. If you're at a campground, for instance, and they have an AC outlet, you can certainly plug that uh, power bank in there and charge her up. If you happen to spend a wonderful evening and night in a hotel motel, take it in with you and charge it up in the motel. Um, there are many different ways like that that you know, you, even a library, you take it into a library during the day, especially if it's a lousy rainy day and the, you've got nothing else to do and you want to do a little research on whatever, do that and get it into the library and charge it up there. Actually, just a, a little aside here, if you have any of the uh, uh, small, maybe two or three watt uh motion activated lights or anything like that you can actually charge one of those using a incandescent light or a flashlight if you can believe it um, because they just don't need that much juice most of those have a little solar panel about that size and you can shine that light directly in there and charge those up for yourself uh, if it's just impossible to find any solar available, any sunlight available, I should say. And another thing to keep in mind is even though, you know, you've got sunshine day after day, you know, Steve, maybe you should move to uh, southern Arizona and uh, get your sunlight there. Easy for me to say since I just recently did that. But anyway, southern Arizona has sunlight almost every day. And it's important to remember to charge your solar banks when you can. When that sun is up there and shining, even though you're down to, say you've got a five bar maximum uh, solar uh, uh, bank, most of them are, 
and you're down to a couple of bars and you think, oh, that'll be fine. I can, I can use that. Well, tomorrow it could rain. So why not charge it up? Make hay while the sun shines, as they say, and uh, get that thing charged up as much as you can. Utilize the sun as much as you can when it's available. So I hope that's helped a little bit, giving you a couple of uh, uh, ideas on what you might do. If, if it is a cloudy day, first of all, see what you're getting out of that sunlight and those UV rays that are coming down. And if you have to go somewhere else, like a library or a, a campground outlet or a ramada at a park, any of that thing, uh, that kind of thing, use what you can to keep those loaded as much as possible. And you won't be disappointed when you work, wake up in the morning and it's raining and you think, I've got a, a low one bar power bank that I really need today. What am I going to do? Yeah. Yeah, we thought there were live bugs. <laughs> Or gonna be. I know. I, me too. We were so. I went into the restroom and came out, and you'd said, "Honey, they're not live." <laughs> but you know, they're doing a good job of it. At first, I was like, "Oh my gosh!" But now they're getting more interesting. So enjoy the bugs. <laughs> we got fooled. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for spending time with us. Yes. Yeah, and thank you, Lee, for, for giving me full control of a segment today. Oh, you're going to take control of a lot of segments. Mm. Sounds like I work do, to me. I have another through <laughs> night flashlight. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes, and it's, um, what do you call that, Paul, when the light is has a large area not just it focuses in on one thing uh, the beam the maybe? beam it has a really wide beam okay. that be wide? this one has a wide beam so it's really cool well, and that, that would be perfect for walking back uh, from a uh, yeah uh, campfire after dark get yeah. a larger beam uh, there uh, display so you won't trip and break your head yeah. yeah well i turned it on i was sitting in the back of my van in my area and i turned it on it lit up the hole from from passenger very cool uh, to uh driver's good window deal. Good so deal. that's really good too it's like you get a whole view you don't have to go like that right. so we'll show that tomorrow but you know thanks for spending time with us and we love you guys bye bye everyone please subscribe give us a thumbs up and we'll see you tomorrow. I promise, day be trippers. Be here or be square. Yes. <laughs> day trippers, yeah. Bye-bye. Yep, a black widow. Oh, look at that web, too.